Michigan has more private forest land than public forest land. A little more than 12 million acres is privately owned. About 3 million acres are owned by corporations. Those are largely in the Upper Peninsula, but more than 9 million acres of forest land are owned by families and individuals. So family forest landowners make up the biggest block of, of forest owners in Michigan. So with around 60% uh, privately owned, the other 40% is owned by the government, primarily the state of Michigan. Actually, the state has more forest land than the federal government in Michigan. Uh, the state of Michigan has a little more than four and a half million acres, and the U.S. Forest Service has a little under three million acres. Fishing in Michigan is big. Each year there's around one and a half million people who fish in the state of Michigan. We rank second in the country for a number of out-of-state anglers coming here to fish. That's behind Florida, but that's more people coming to Michigan to fish than in the entire state of Alaska. Pretty proud of that fact. Um, in the Great Lakes region, we know that about 17% of all citizens fish, and um, that results in Michigan, for Michigan's portion, in about 25 million days of angling each year. Forests and forest management are a big part of Michigan's economy. Uh, Michigan's forest products industry generates around $21 billion a year, and there's around 100,000 jobs that are related to forests and forest management. Everywhere from foresters and loggers working out in the woods to truckers that are taking uh, wood products to sawmills and paper mills, and then a lot of the secondary mills that take those boards and, and paper products and make them into other more valuable products. So it's a, it's a big part of Michigan's economy, but uh, people should also realize that uh, Michigan's forests are growing far more wood than we are harvesting. So that forest products industry is a very sustainable industry and uh, we are, are growing more wood than is being removed or is you know, dying off naturally. The economic impact of fishing in Michigan is also huge. Each year, anglers directly spend about two and a half billion dollars on fishing related trips. That has an economic impact of just under four billion dollars a year. Other ways that we feel this in the Michigan's, uh, the state of Michigan's economy is in that it creates 28,000 jobs in the state of Michigan. It helps create 227 million dollars in state and local tax revenue. And it also creates 250 million dollars in federal tax revenue just from fishing in Michigan. So forests are one of the best land uses for providing clean water and really good fish habitat. Forests are really good at uh, providing clean water because they have permanent vegetation. There are trees and shrubs and um, herbaceous plants in, in the understory that are always there. And so that permanent vegetation will intercept the rainwater and slow the velocity of the water falling out of the sky, but then also moving over land into the surface water like lakes or, or rivers. Forests have undisturbed soils. Unlike agriculture, which is frequently tilled up every year, the soils in forests are undisturbed and are protected by a, a layer of needles and leaves that are on the surface of the soil to minimize soil erosion. Forests have very little infrastructure. Most of the infrastructure in a forest is going to be the occasional trail or road going through the forest, and so there's very little uh, impermeable surfaces like roads or parking lots in urban areas that uh, move polluted water into, uh, into the surface waters. And then forests are, are really good at filtering uh, pollution that may be um, moving through the, the rain or the, or the surface water. Those soils and those leaves and those plants are good at filtering out pollutants. And uh, forests have very little uh, pollutants to begin with. There's, um, chemical spills are very infrequent and they're very small. Occasionally a piece of equipment might uh, break a hose and leak a few gallons of hydraulic oil onto the ground, which is always contained and cleaned up. But those small spills are very minor compared to some of the larger spills coming from industry or from cities where we often have combined sewer overflows coming into our rivers and lakes. In the United States, fishing is also a big economic driver. 
Annually, about 49 million citizens of the U.S. go fishing. They spend about $125 billion while fishing. They create over 800,000 jobs. And through licenses, federal excise tax, and other donations to conservation, they contribute a total of $1.6 billion that helps take care of fisheries.